Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel that is language learning and listening. In this video today I am going to discuss what is a speech, its format and some important points to be remembered at the time of writing that speech. So let's start. A speech will be long descriptive writing. Speech refers to a formal address and description, description about any other topic or event that will be delivered to an audience. So let's move towards the format of it. Here in this image you will get what will be the format. Now the total format will be divided in four parts. First one will be heading. Mind it, it will be catchy. Catchy means much more important and should be without within five to six word limits. So these word limits must not be exceeded. Next one, introduction. Now in the introduction part, you will introduce yourself and also you will address to some chief guest. Okay. That chief guest will be varied according to the question. But as you are in the school, so obviously the chief guest will be the principal. So on that context, I have given one introduction. Try to follow. Good morning, respected principal, teachers and my dear friends. Today, I, the name given in the question. So what the name will be given in the question paper, that one you will write here. Mind it, no other name. I mean, your personal name, you will not write. Okay. If you want, then you can write any other fake name. So today I, the name, have got a golden opportunity to deliver a speech on the topic. The topic name you will write here. What will be given in the question? Next, after changing the para, you will write the body. What the body? Here, write the content of the given topic. Mind it, these portions will be larger then introduction and conclusion. Now, last part, there will be conclusion. So before going to that part, we should move to the next for the elaborate body. Now, some important points to be remembered. You should think here on this matter that body part, what will be the important points? This paragraph should be the explanation of the topics. Next, explain the current situation, advantages and disadvantages, if any. Other four points are still remain. One should not exceed the word limit. Mention all the important points that will be covered in the question. Always remember to start with a strong point. Now, you can also give your personal opinion in two or three lines. Make sure you do not deviate from the topic. Deviate means, you know, you are not going out of the topic. So that is the body. Some of the points you should keep it mind. Next one, conclusion. Last point. So after changing the para, you will write what the conclusion. Here, try to mention the steps taken to improvise the given situation. Also suggest a few solutions that can be taken. And last point, the concluding line should be the thanking the audience for their cooperation and patience. So now what should be the, what should be the sentence? Here I have given one example, just like thanks to all for listening my speech attentively. Have a nice day. So in that way you can end or close the line of your speech. Another point I must tell that the points like heading, introduction, body, conclusion, all these points you will not write. All these words you will not write in your copy at the time of writing speech. Okay? You will write what the heading it is and you will show some of the difference at the time of breaking that paragraph to so only that is introduction, body and conclusion. Okay? So in that way, you will cover your speech writing. I hope you have understood well. Thank you. Have a good day.